To access the Nova app, just type in the URL in your browser. And Nova opens on the video editing dashboard from where you can create a new project. And this is how you upload a video. You can either upload from the existing library, insert from a TikTok link, insert from YouTube, or upload from your computer. Then you just choose the file that you want to upload. Then you go back to your dashboard and into the Smart Search to access the Smart Search part of the platform. To have the video analyzed by the AI, click on these three dots and then on the symbol. And here you can see all the different categories that the AI analyzes for, the language that it hears, and you can toggle these on and off depending on which ones you are interested in analyzing for. And then just click Analyze and the AI will start analyzing. I'm not going to do that for now because I'm just going to use a video that we've already uploaded. But what you see here are all the files that we've uploaded to this one library on Nova that have all been analyzed and that we can search through. If I want to find a specific file, I just type in the name of the file here, like Mission Impossible. So this is what the smart search looks like. Um, on your left, you see all the different categories that the AI has analyzed for. We're going to start with shots. Uh, and in shots, you can do very specific combination searches. For example, I can type in Tom Cruise. And I can either give him a facial attribute. Or I can give him an emotion such as angry. I say apply. And now the AI has found me all the scenes where Tom Cruise looks angry. If I click on any one of them, it'll show me here on the timeline where that moment is and I can play it. I can do more searches, for example, Tom Cruise again. This time I'm not going to give him any of these, but instead I'm gonna have the AI find him with a gun. And here are the six scenes that the AI found with Tom Cruise and a gun. And there we have it, Tom Cruise with a gun. And you can see down here on the timeline where these two different moments appears. Facial attribute is anything from an emotion to something like a mustache. If I click on mustache, the AI now shows me all the scenes where there is a man with a mustache. Obviously, there's an actor in this movie that has a moustache at all times, so he, he will be there quite a lot. Celebrities are all the celebrities in the video in most appearing order. I can again click on any one of them, like Alec Baldwin. And I now have all the moments on my timeline where Alec Baldwin is. I can toggle these off the other clips if I don't want to see them. And I can just click this arrow to go through all my Alec Baldwin moments. Collections is where you would have uploaded non-celebrities, uh, images of non-celebrities for the AI to learn how to recognize. We haven't done that for this film, but that is something that you can do. In objects and activities, we have everything from accessories to handbags to cars. Um, or we can type in something like aerial view. I click on it here and I now have all my blue moments on the timeline, which are aerial views. And obviously having to find all of these specific things manually watching this would take a very, very long time. But here we can just type it in and the AI shows us immediately where they are. Subtitles is the AI having analyzed and listened to everything that's spoken in the video and then created subtitles of it. These are also searchable, like I can search for the word sorry, click on it, and I see here specifically where that moment is, where someone says sorry. If the AI has misheard something because it is a machine, so it's not perfect, I can click on any of these subtitle cards and then edit what is said, delete words, commas, put in others. 
I can change the timestamps as well for where it appears. I can change the color and I can change the font size and drag it around so that it's where I want it to be. And the subtitles, I can export either as SRT or TXT, or I can burn them directly into the video so that it can be exported as an MP4 with the subtitles sitting on top of it. In Translate, you can translate the subtitles between 70 different languages. This is the full list that we have here. And I can just choose any one of these. We've already translated to, for example, Spanish. So if you want to see that, I just click on the I next to the language. I then go back to subtitles and now they are all in Spanish, as you can see here. Moderated labels is anything that might need to be moderated, such as weapons, which is a very quick way to find what you might need to cut out of, um, out of something, depending on uh, compliance for that area. So now that I've gathered all of my different moments down here, we call this our little shopping bin, I can then add them to my export and export to, for example, Premiere Pro as an EDL file. We have different settings here. The file comes into your Premiere Pro with the little handles on each side so that you can expand the clips if you need to. We also export to Avid, Final Cut Pro, lots of other video editing programs. You can also export your selected moments as a video and they just come in that order that, that they appear in on the timeline. Um, you can export them as images if you need thumbnails for something and you can set the size here. For a more advanced clip, I can click make a clip and I can then choose a template for the AI to make a clip from or I can have custom like here where I set shot length, overall clip length. Uh, AI confidence level, whether it should be in random order, all of the clips, and I can say, say save and generate, and the AI will automatically generate me a clip based on those criteria. I can then go into preview, where I can see a preview of that clip that I have asked the AI to auto generate, and this is just an example of one of them. And if I'm happy with it, I can say, okay, I like this, and then go into clips where I have the final generated clip that I can download. In all media, I can do the same kind of search that I just did on one video on the left on the entire archive that I've uploaded to Nova. Um, so if I, for example, type in Tom, the AI will find me all the moments where something with Tom appears, either if someone says Tom or there is uh, a celebrity called Tom, like Tom Cruise. And yeah, this is a search on my entire archive at once. I can also type in something like birthday. And again, choose whether it should be an object birthday, like a birthday cake or in transcripts. So someone that says the word birthday, if I click on transcript and then on just this first one here, I then have the exact moment in Avatar where someone says birthday. Again, in my entire archive uploaded to Nova.